down to way basics and tell us what is the definition of alchemy? Alchemy is basically, in a nutshell, changing the dense body or the body of lead into the body of gold. Mm -hmm. That's why you see all these old saints, uh, the pictures where they were gold colored, the statues. Mm -hmm. That was the emanation of the gold dragon body, which is refinement of the body's material. Mm -hmm. While in other traditions, uh, it took the color of alabaster, like Guan Yin. Mm -hmm. You see, she's always in white. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and gold dragon body, well, one can become transparent, as Khan, my student, does, or one can emanate the light. Mm -hmm. And again, this is the alchemy, also means enlightenment, means to generate light inside and manifest it outwardly. Mm -hmm. In regular uh, enlightenment, there's Buddhist enlightenment, scholarly enlightenment, enlightenment of the universe inside, universe outside. There's, there's just a lot of different um, philosophies. You know, some are very simple, uh, some are very, you know, sophisticated. Like if you're in Tibet, you got a lot of tankas and visualizations within visualizations. And for most people, it's very difficult. But I prefer, you know, when I designed Kunlun, I was spent two years on a mountain in Taos, New Mexico, on the reservation on, uh, in the Taos Pueblo. I designed this so that it was simple for the people in the West, where we say the path of no more learning, you don't have to search for teachings anymore. And through the simplicity of the Kunlun practice with dedicated enough practice that you feel everybody has the capacity to attain this, basically we're talking about materialization and dematerialization. Well, that's just one aspect. There are 72 natural abilities that go with any, any real lineage. Mm -hmm. That's a side effect. That means that you have something that's workable. Mm -hmm. That, you know, one master, it has passed on from one living master to another. Not by looking at somebody's picture who's died. You know, don't work that way. Mm -hmm. You have to have the lineage transferred. And when you have the real thing, the body manifests these things, which there are 72 different skills, which you call C-days in the other traditions. Mm -hmm. 36 mm -hmm. positive, 36 negative. You know, then those are divided into nine sections with four variations each. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in our secret, in our tradition, I do, again, I incorporate a lot of alchemy. Like a lot of people, when they heard about the philosopher's stone, see here... This is what people want all their whole life. This is the Philosopher's Stone. This is one of three levels of stone. The white stone of alchemy, then there's a red stone, and then there's a violet stone. Mm -hmm. The first one, it, clean, it clears you of the 400 sicknesses. The second one is converted into a red paste. You eat that size of a grain of rice, and you can live off that for hundreds of years, like the old masters. Mm -hmm. Then the third one converts base metals into gold for 100 years, but then it converts back over to its normal state after 100 years. And this is how the old masters lived their life, where they could be free, like a Taoist, to be free. They could roam, and they could be clear, and they didn't have no need or attachment to anything. Wow. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a life we could create on this planet for everybody to have access to these, this freedom. Yeah, but a lot of people, again, uh, have too much attachment. They're afraid to let go of things. And it's attachment that holds the mind in place because everything is of the mind. And how you change, the, how you affect the mind affects the chi or energy or prana in the body. And then that manifests outwardly into your environment. Mm -hmm. So your mind dictates what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not how much practice you're doing, how many sophisticated practices. Everything is, starts from the mind. In Kunlun, we release everything prior to birth. Go back to what we call the primordial state. Mm -hmm. And that's when things happen. Mm 